Hi everyone, Chris here. So I've seen a lot of messages in YouTube and via DMs on Twitter to check out a super demanding game. It's called Genshin Impact. It's a cross-platform game that's also on consoles and PC, but it is on the iPhone, iOS, and it's also on Android. So in this particular review, I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head thermal throttling test, gaming performance test, and benchmarks the iPhone 12 Pro up against the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. So which one of these is gonna thermal throttle the most, which is gonna get the hottest, and are we gonna see a significant drop in performance when these two heat up playing such a demanding game? Let's find out. All right, so before I jump into some gameplay, just quickly, we're gonna get a base score here for Antutu, and I'm gonna run this after doing one hour of intense gaming with Genshin Impact on the maximum settings, which I'll show you shortly. So you can see here, we've got just under 600,000 with the iPhone 12 Pro, and then just over 600,000 points with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now the Z Fold 2 has eight cores, this has the Snapdragon 865 Plus, and on the Apple here, we've got six cores, and it has that Bionic a14, which has a five nanometer process. And we'll get a baseline here on our thermals as well. So ambient temperatures right now are between 23 and 24 degrees. And you can see the phones themselves, very similar temperatures. There's only about one degree, not even that in it. So the fold, you can see 22 degrees and on the iPhone, approximately 23 with uh, slightly different materials here that both of them are using. Now I've calibrated my thermal camera for the shiny surfaces. So it should be accurate here what we are looking at. And now to check actually loading up the game. So I've got the same area on the map and it should be the same time of day as well. Both of the phones connected up to the same Wi-Fi network and also both of the phones on the, without cases, sorry. So that's not gonna affect the thermal. So tapped at the same time, we'll see which one loads first. Uh, the iPhone 12 Pro definitely looks faster. Also tapped at the same time. And let's see how long it takes to actually get in game here. So look at that iPhone 12 Pro. Definitely speeding ahead. Wow, that was really quick. Very, very quick there. And you can see many seconds behind on the Fold 2 here. So settings wise, I'm gonna be running the exact same graphical settings on both of them. We'll see the performance. So just to point it out, so under settings here, that I'm gonna set both of them. Graphics, under graphics, you can see it says custom. This is basically the highest setting. Both of them are 60 frames per second. So I'll do that again on both. So here I will select simply highest. And right here, custom, move that to highest again. It's gonna say custom because I set it to 60 frames per second. All right, which is an absolute battery killer for both of these devices. So the frame rate option right here, set to 60. That is great. Exit out. Okay, so both of them, right now, you can see a huge difference, of course, in screen size and very, very immersive having a larger screen and playing on this one. Both of them have really good loudspeakers. So performance here looks very smooth and good on the Fold 2, very smooth as well, and looking great on that iPhone 12 Pro. So what I'm gonna do now is leave it for one hour and a game on both of them in the same areas of the map. Just simply just move it around and let's have a look at the performance now after one hour. Will one of these devices throttle? And what about our thermals? I'll check on that as well. So this performance is as expected. It is very smooth. It is great here on the Fold 2. Now it does seem to look sharper on the iPhone 12 Pro. Perhaps maybe it has a slightly different level of graphics, but I think it's actually just down to the fact that it has a smaller screen on the iPhone 12 Pro. So the PPI of course is better and it just makes it look a little bit sharper. But here, so far, gameplay is good. Now I'll just do the same. Hopefully I won't die on the fold right here. Do the same now with the iPhone 12. And it's already actually feeling a little bit warmer to me. It hasn't taken long for it to get a bit warm. And performance here is good so far. And actually I'm already seeing like a little bit of stutter here, maybe because of the graphic settings. And graphically, they're very, very similar here. I mean, I do have it set as I showed you on the same settings. And I'm just starting to detect, just a little bit just then, a micro stutter here and there, which shouldn't actually be happening. So when I smooth or scroll around here, it's just now and then, it does a little bit of a judder. I don't know why that's happening. Probably optimization, or could it actually be the hardware? Is this GPU starting to throttle as the iPhone 12 Pro now throttling a little bit. And let's go back here. 
to the Fold 2, it seems to be exactly the same. Also getting warm, so both, both of the devices are warm and I'll check after one hour of just testing this out how warm both of them are going to get. Break out that thermal probe. So let's speed ahead now. One hour of both of these gaming, playing Genshin Impact. All right, so it's actually been about 47 minutes. I don't think I can make it to one hour because the iPhone battery is gonna get below 30% then. And I still need some battery life for an Antutu test. So temperature wise, front of the screens, very, very similar. You can see about both of them 40 degrees. Let's turn them over. Okay, and we'll have a look on the back side of them. Which one's getting the hottest? Clearly the iPhone there, quite a bit warmer actually. Look at this, 45 degrees almost. 47, 46. And actually not bad at all on the fold. So the fold here you can see is getting up to approximately 37, 38, 39. Okay, 40 degrees, still warm. But the back, almost 48 degrees on the iPhone 12 Pro. Okay, so they've been both running now for almost 50 minutes. I showed you the temperatures. They're both getting warm, but clearly the iPhone is warmer there. So what I'm going to do now is exit out of both of these, kill everything that's going on in the background, and I'm going to run then and tutu. Okay, so I need to kill everything. I don't want that running. So now there is nothing running in the background of both of these phones here. And let's go and find and tutu, bring that up. Okay, and tutu. I'm gonna run it here. Now what I'm gonna do is speed the phone ahead. Oh, something in Chinese, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Okay, so there's the results before. Now they're both warm. Let's see how much are they going to have throttle. So remember the score, and now I'm gonna run it again, and I shall just simply speed ahead here. So we'll go test again, sorry. Need to get back, test again on both. All right, so this is completely unexpected. I thought the Galaxy Z Fold 2 would throttle a lot more than it has right here. So it has barely throttled down. It's gone from just over 600,000 to now just below 600,000 points. But take a look at the iPhone 12 Pro. It's gone from 580,000 points to almost losing 100,000 points here, almost 490,000. That's a significant drop. Now I know that this isn't entirely Fair in terms of thermal performance, we have a much larger phone here that can probably dissipate that heat a lot easier through its frame and being larger, of course, that acts as a much larger passive heat sink. Now, if anyone has an iPhone 12 Pro or the iPhone 12, please, if you've got one, run the same test, run the game at the highest possible visual settings, 60 frames per second. Let us all know in the comments, are you seeing clear frame dips? Are you seeing stutter? Are you seeing your phone? getting very hot, it also kills the battery life. We found a new battery life killer. It burns through both of these devices so quick that you're really only getting about an hour's gameplay on the iPhone and maybe about two hours gameplay or two and a half on the Fold 2, depending of course on your brightness. That's another thing, I kept the brightness of the screens exactly the same, ambient temperature exactly the same. I tried to play for the exact same time on each device and always kept it running to make this fair. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, if you thought it was interesting, educational, please do give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more up and coming comparisons. I'll actually be doing a camera comparison between both of these that I'm about to go out tonight when it gets dark to get some low light photo samples. So I hope to see you back with that video.